Hi, I'm Richard Jackson, Pillsbury, Aberdeen, Angus, uh, in Peak District, Derbyshire. They run 120 pedigree Angus cows, uh, plus followers, so total of about 300 head of cattle. We're farming just over 300 acres of upland farm. Most of the farm's over a thousand feet above sea level. And um, we sell around 40 bulls a year off farm to a variety of customers from commercial dairy right through to other pedigree breeders. We rotationally graze all the cattle and we focus on producing commercial, forage fed, quality functional cattle for the modern commercial farmer. So the need with the cattle yards really um, was safety. We wanted something safe for the animals and the, everyone who was working it involved. We've got young family and stuff easy so we could work it on our own if need be um, so if we're loading or sorting bulls out to load in the trailer ready to go out to farms it can be a one-man job if need be if no one else is about we do a lot of fertility testing we do performance recording weighing that kind of work with the bulls so when they're out at grass it's, it's nice to be able to bring them in somewhere and be able to split them up work them easily safely quickly keeps the cattle quiet you know, they're not stressed. They do move very well through it, with it being outside. It ticked a lot of the boxes, really, for us, what, what we wanted, and it's going to last us a long time. We liked it, in fact, it's galvanised because it's very wet where we live. We're very, very happy with it. We've got a number of local manufacturers, and compared to it, I just felt that the reason I looked at Parry and overseas brands was they're probably handling a lot more cattle than we are. You know, the farms are bigger. So that's led me to look at the sort of systems from abroad. They've got the volume of cattle going through, so they've got the build, you know, the build quality and the design in there so that it works when you're working with a decent number of cattle. I don't really think there's much comparison, really, when you see just the different layouts and designs that Tipari do. It's all designed for the animals to move around the system freely and like stress-free. You know, it's thought of with the animal in mind rather than necessarily, you know, it being the absolute cheapest or cutting any corners. It's built for the job and built to last, I guess. The gates on the yards are really good. They're quiet. They're easy to shut and fasten and just slam to if you need to slam them quick. We like all the gates and how they're buffered on the crush. They're really good, they're quiet like the on the front of the front cage on the front of the race whenever we've got any vets here they they like that it's just dead easy like it's easy not not a lot of effort to open or close anything i like the raised platform find that you can get cattle to move forward easier it's like if you're doing just jobs like reading tv tests or whatever the vet can just stand upon the race put his hand down the side of the neck you know you can get get four or five in there at once depending on the size and it's as fast as he can walk down and check them you know we can have some more coming ready behind if there's a couple of us working and the same if we're doing like pour-ons or certain vaccinations and stuff if we want if we've got a big bunch and we can just put them in the race and just because uh, we're above them sort of just just work work on top of them as such and it seems to work well that does with the crush yeah i usually just use it myself there's usually two of us working in the yard that one will be pushing cattle into the race and then someone else will be working the crush at the front. I like the head gate, how we can, it'll catch any size of animal really. Um, that, that does work well. Pretty straightforward, a couple of times a year with the maintenance. We'll just uh, go around with a grease gun and some spray grease and just around the hinges and catches and stuff. and keep an eye on the bolts and clamps and things holding the gates but apart from that there's nothing really to go wrong with it much. I'd recommend a system like this because it's simple, it's easy to put together, to install, it just works and for me like we overcomplicate too much stuff nowadays and yeah it's simple and it works and it'll keep doing the job for years to come hopefully do me the rest of my farming career anyway so that was one of the reasons we bought it we could see it was a decent product and that it'd last um, and that's that's why we went with it really <laughs> <laughs>